Hypno Baron. Your chanting days are over, mister. Blech, it's you. No matter. My incantation is already complete. Gasp. Tremble in fear as you witness the end of your world. No. Behold! The creature of unspeakable horror. It's going to be like a big cupcake or something, isn't it? Maybe a bunny? It's going to be something cute for sure. Oh my god! Yo! Uh, Squid Baron. Check it! I've reached the fifth boss status. That's one step away from top billing. I'd be surprised if they didn't name a game after me. Shantae versus the important Squid Baron, they'd call it. No, Squid Baron's Quest starring Shantae. In fact, just make it a Squid Baron game. I'll even let you get in as cheap DLC if you ask nicely. You can be a color palette swap. 99 cents sounds about right. You're out of your mind, Squid Baron. First of all, the titles always have a colon or an and the in the name. Second, a Squid Baron spinoff game would only appeal to a subset of the same audience, so it's it's gonna sell like buns. How embarrassing. And third, swapping my color palette for yours would make you red and purple, which you already are. <laughs> How dare you! Let's do this all, all crazy style. Cue the funky boss track and come at me. Creature of unspeakable horror! Oh wow, I didn't jump over it. Can I flambe them? This is like some Space Invaders stuff. But in reverse. Can I hit? No, I can't. Okay, it's just me and the squid. Flamethrower does not do as much damage as just smacking them. Wow, dude, you don't even get shockwaves or something? Bloop. I mean, I am getting hit quite an awful lot. Backstep, backstep. Does this give me iframes? I've never tested it because I hate backsteps. It does not. <laughs> or my timing was off. They were a good mid-boss, I think. Hey, they exploded, but they're not dead. Duel Barons, the dastardly duo! Take us both down. So that's how they're gonna multi-phase it. The Hypno Baron, but it's like a necromancery undead skull dude, right? What makes him hypnosis-y? Oof. Okay, I think it's actually time that we use one of our absurd amounts of healing items. Very low stakes! When it's only 60 coins. For three full heals. Hey, they finally got the shockwaves! Now you're doing things like a proper boss. Look at all the shockwaves hitting me, too. I'm not even dodging them like a protagonist. Smoosh. 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 I don't want to split the damage. We gotta kill the squid first. I've done too much damage to the WoW. This is actually kind of tough. Explosion! Alright, now get really easy because he's dead. Okay, he actually exploded until he stopped existing. He can go be the mid-boss of another game now. Shantae and the mid-boss.
We can't really do the big jumpins. Because he's kind of floaty. Come on, I don't want to heal a second time. That's lame. No. Can I do this in midair? Oh, I'm gonna die, dude. Alright, I'm not sure what the window is to hit him, but we're getting slapped around. It's time for some cannibalism. Let's just eat some sentient creatures we roasted earlier. You got killed by the weak fire ability? Take that, dude. Oh, we were actually right there. He only took four damage from that. So we didn't need to heal the second time. Oh my gosh, I think it blew him up for good. I hope you're happy now, Hypno Baron. He might have been a big jerk face, but deep down he just wanted to be loved. Oh, he will be. You see, I summoned him here to option his merchandising rights. Say what? Squid Baron, hats and mugs and t-shirts, crewnecks and raglans. But... Whatever happened to ripping open the fabric of space-time and washing away humankind in a sea of eternal woe? Who told you that? No, it's gracing the fabric of leisure time and blowing away humankind in a sea of heavy weave 100% cotton comfort. Oh. Squid Baron merch will fund evil for all eternity! Nee-hee-hee-hee! <laughs> I'm going home to take a very long, very hot bath. Relatable. Did that right before the started recording. Shantae versus the important Squid Baron. It'd sell like buns. Isn't selling like buns a good thing though? I thought the hotcakes and stuff sold. Oh my god, we can become a harpy. Behold, I am Flight! Oh my god, it's like Kirby. Poyo! Poyo! Congratulations! You've thwarted evil five times in a single day. That's gotta be a new personal best. Being a genie that's only half hero sure isn't easy. I know what you meant, and thanks. But now, I really owe it to Uncle to get that final component. So, what is it anyway, Uncle? According to this? Oh dear, hmm. The blueprint shows a hand crank mechanism, but that's no good. Here's where your old uncle gets his chance to shine. That's right, we're going to improvise. Why turn the wheel at all when we can rig up a hamster wheel to do the work for us? I don't know, that sounds like bad news for some hamster. Hey, I know. A regular hamster would get tired and need to rest, right? But a zombie hamster will happily run all day long. Brilliant. It's subtle then. A zombie hamster will be our perpetual energy source. And I'll forge into the I'll forge the hamster wheel out of iron to reduce the heat on his little monster toes. We're seriously going with this plan? Okay, Roddy Tob, so this sounds like this is your department. Where can I find a zombie hamster? I don't know. But I'd just get a regular one and bite it. I think that's how Poe got his. If your brother already has a zombie hamster, why didn't you say so in the first place? Uh. And what about the iron slab? For that, you'll need to ask around town. Got it. One zombie hamster and one iron slab. Coming right up. 